Hercules Gomez finally joining the team now. What have been your impressions of him in training and gelling with the team? Uh, good. Hercules has, uh, I've known him for a while, has a personality that immediately comes in. He fits. He's, uh, he's, uh, <clears throat> he's talkative, so he can get in. He gets to know guys. He's very comfortable both in his skin and in new environments. So in that way, it's been great. It's been good to have him on the field. Uh, as I said before, he's, uh, he's another guy who's been there and been in big moments, uh, and you can feel that confidence from him. Uh, so now it's just uh, he's been training, but it's getting his legs under him, especially as he changes and comes to a new environment. And and fitting him into uh, a role within the within the team so that he's clear on what his expectations are and everything else. With Damian being out of the lineup this week, and I'm sure you have some adjustments that you're going to be making, how do you see that tactical formation playing out? Yeah, I mean, with uh, it's unfortunate we lost Damian. It, happened, it coincides with Nick coming back from uh, you know his his injury stint there. Josh is now in form and he's uh, he's now available. Nick's available. Obviously, Eric has been a guy who's stepped in. Ahmed is is recovered from three games in seven days after not playing a game in a number of months. Uh, so we have options. I mean, unfortunately, losing Damien is is always going to be a, an issue. But we've now got some guys who are healthy and are available for us in terms of selection. Um, so in that way, we're we're in a good position. What's the plan for Achilles for Saturday? Is there a chance that he could get into that game at all? Uh, there's a chance. I mean, we got to finalize getting his ITC over to make sure he's available. But uh, once we have that secured, we make a decision whether it's, he's ready to travel with us or not. If he travels, then there's always a chance that, that he's a guy who could be in the mix. Craig, are you tempted to make a goalkeeper change at this point? Um, I'm, a, I'm tempted to make lots of changes. No, I, uh, yeah, I think all positions are being assessed. And uh, that is one of the positions that we have to constantly assess and make sure that we have... Uh, the right mix of guys. So to say that uh, it's not one of the positions that we've also looked at and, and thought, um, do we have the right mix of guys for, for what we're doing? Yes. So. You, you mentioned that Josh is in contention. Where do you see him playing? Uh, I think Josh is he's fully capable of playing uh, an outside back position, which is uh, he did last year with Columbus. Uh, if you go back a little bit deeper, he's played center back uh, the, the year prior to that at Columbus. He played next to um, Chad Marshall uh, was very solid. Uh, so I think he gives us some options in the back line. Um, I have my preferences for him, uh, and, and based on what he's done in training and how he looks, uh, I'll make that selection uh, uh, when the time comes. The defensive woes have been talked about endlessly here the last little while. Mm -hmm. A full week of training now. Uh, what needs to change uh, heading into Saturday? Um, our, our attitude. Uh, our, um, I would say our commitment. I mean, at the end of the day, we gave away a few chances uh, in the run of play, even against Kansas City, and we were definitely not on one of our best days. And having said that, they didn't have a ton of chances in the run of play. Where we've had a lot, way too many difficulties is the mentality uh, of our group on set pieces uh, and uh, understanding what, not just what our responsibilities are, because we understand that, but, but actually being aggressive in the moment to attack the ball, to clear the ball, to stay engaged through the second phase of those, uh, to really, to really see each of those moments as it's a real opportunity for the opposition, and we need to be concentrated, focused together, and we make sure we deal with those things. Uh, but defensively, uh, I think we just also need to be a little bit tidy on some things. When, uh, when for example, teams give us balls, we need to clean up those balls, and, and we need to take care of the ball. And we need to transition them into an attack and and get them out of our end. I thought for sure in the last game, we turned too many balls over in the first or second pass, uh, which then means you defend for longer stretches and over time when teams, especially in that first half of that game, when you give teams attacks over and over and over again, eventually something's gonna break down and, and too often we've done some of that. So uh, that's why I say it's not always, it's not just on the defenders, right? It's all, everybody who's on the field between set pieces, us being better with the ball, uh, and then also just you know in some of these defensive moments when we when we have the ability to win the ball and secure the ball, we all have to be better. Uh, and I suspect, and I know it will be better this week. And I thought we had a, an off day uh, after having a good game on Wednesday. I thought we had an off day. Some guys looked tired. We obviously added some new guys into the mix um, who have been away from the team, so the dynamics were a little off. But I expect a much better performance and effort on the weekend. You mentioned it's not just on the goalie in the back four, particularly when the goal is conceded. How much does it fall on the balance and getting the balance right, not just the personnel, but the balance right of midfield? And have you thought about maybe changing away from a diamond against a New York team that like the width? 
yes, we've we've thought about all those things in terms of balance and protecting the the wide channels and and preventing crosses and and all of those things. Um, yeah, they're all, they're all factors that we look into every week uh, as we strike the balance for our team moving forward. Uh, but it's also what the personalities that we have and what the team feels most confident and comfortable in, um, both on both sides of the ball. How can we defend, but also how can we continue to strike fear in the opposition? We have some good players. My feeling is, as basic as it sounds, if, if on a given day our players play to the level that they're capable of playing, um, and that means every player, then, then we have a very good shot. Uh, the, the tactics of things, the guys understand them, they're clear. We just have to make the plays when the plays are there to be made. We have to make the right decision when the decision is there to be made, uh, and we need to be professional about those things. Uh, but f tactical adjustments to try to prevent crosses or try to do those things are, are things we address based on the strength of opposition, for sure. The opposition, I mean, the venue, they all present real good challenges to see the maturation process of your team and what, where it's going on Saturday. What do you see in the Red Bulls of what they do really well? They press very well. Uh, they're very organized in their, their approach. They are, a, uh, they are a team that, I wouldn't say they're all or nothing, but they're kind of a, they're all or they're going to retreat heavily and, and you might catch them on the other side. They, um, they're organized in that they quickly find their, their positions and they immediately start to press you uh, as the ball turns over or as the ball, uh, as you secure the ball and you make that first pass, they are immediately coming after you and you have to be ready for it and you have to know where your outs are at uh, and you have to punish them on the other side when you break that press because uh, it's a bit of a game of uh, who's going to make more mistakes, our guys or your guys. We're going to force you into mistakes if you break us. Uh, then we'll see if you can capitalize more times and we'll capitalize on the, the, the transitions we'll create on that side. It's worked for them sometimes, it's not, not worked for them other times. Uh, you know, my, my thing is if we break the press and it's Sebastian and Josie and Michael and, and those types of players who are transitioning against them, I like our odds. We have I, what I would say is the best transition team uh, in the league when, when we have all of our guys firing. And so no problem, we, we see what, how it looks. Any other injury concerns, Greg, heading into the weekend? Uh, not quite at the moment. Uh, it's about more about getting guys, uh, getting guys back and healthy and fit. And uh, Luke is on his way back. Uh, he's starting to train more with the group. Clement is now training with the group. Um, so I think we're. Every time I say this, it never really pans <laughs> out. But I feel like we're moving in the right direction at a at a good time of the season.